Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you how to extract all the tables in a PDF file into Excel. So the PDF files can look something like this. Um, I have a sample here with two tables. Um, the first table goes to the second page. And then there's another table uh, in the third page with uh, different column names. So you can see here segment 2, country 2, product 2. And uh, the first table will only have a segment without the number 2. Um, I will extract each table into um, two tables. Right, this is the first table extracted um, with uh, two pages of data. And this one is the second table in a separate sheet. Um, at the same time, I am going to show you how to uh, read these extracted PDF tables in more detail. My name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Okay, let's start. The first step is extract tables from PDF. So this is the PDF file link, pages to extract all in advance, merge, you have to enable merge tables that cross page, margins, and first line contains column names. Then you launch Excel with a blank document, make instance visible. Um, the rest you can leave it as default. Um, Focus window. I like to do this because I want to see uh, what uh, uh, Power, Power Automate is doing with Excel, the Excel file. So find window mode by title and or class. Window title, book one, dash Excel. Set window state by title and class. Book one, dash Excel, maximize. Then I am going to set variable. Um, my variable name is table number, value is zero. The reason I'm doing this is because, um, like what I have said earlier, I'm going to show you um, how to read these extract PDF tables. So I'm going to go to the flow variables here and I'm going to click on the more actions, the triple dot. Then I'm going to view right over here. You can see that I have two tables in the PDF that I will be uh, extracting. So click on more. Right, you can see um, each each item has its uh, property uh, data dot data table. And then it's saying that I have 91 rows and six columns. Then if I click on more again, you can actually see all the data in, on, in the first table. So this is very, very interesting. And then you can see it's named as uh, extracted PDF tables, um, zero dot data table. So this zero is actually, um, it's related to the index, zero index of the uh, list of PDF table info. So this zero, right, I will make it a dynamic. So that's why I, I name it as a table number. So, so, so for the first uh, variable, I'll put table number and the value is zero because this extracted PDF table index zero is the first table right this will never change so index zero is always the first table then I use for each 
um, value to iterate extracted PDF tables store into current item. So this will um, uh, this will run for each um, item in this uh, extracted PDF tables. All right. Then I add a new worksheet in the Excel instance new worksheet name will be the table number add worksheet as last worksheet all right then you write to excel worksheet um, excel instance um, is excel instance then variable value to write okay I will probably copy this into the description. So it's a n percent extracted PDF tables, right? Which is this extracted PDF table, and then open bracket table number close bracket, which is the um, table number index, uh, which uh, on the first run will take as zero. Then dot data table. Right, why I dot data table is because over here, if you remember, if I click on more, right, the property is dot data table, which will show you rows, 91 rows, and six columns, right? But this data table doesn't have a column header, so that's why I put dot column header row, then n percent. On right mode is on currently active cell. Right? Next, um, this is just to uh, extract the column header. So next I next I will ask data uh, I will ask Power Automate to get first free row on column from Excel worksheet so that um, I can paste the uh, data table under the column name. So Excel instance is Excel instance, column is one, variables produce is first three row on column. Right, then next is I'm going to write the table now, write to Excel worksheet, Excel instance, so n percent extracted PDF tables, then I open bracket table number close bracket dot data table. Um, See, I don't, I don't have the column header anymore. So this will uh, just, just extract the table uh, only. Right mode on specific cell, column one, right? And then next available uh, row is this first free row on column, which we have extracted just now in step number nine. All right, then this is a loop. So I'm, um, I will increase the table number by one so that it will um, extract the second table, the column header, and the data, data table into um, sheet number two, uh, sheet number one. So which is the next um, table. So so it will loop right then table. You will add new worksheet table number will be one so it will be a new uh, worksheet and you it, 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 it will extract the second table so um after the end i will this i put a label display message right uh, you can skip this step but this is this is cleaner um then then i use this display message uh, window um I will probably put uh, extract tables from PDF. All right. This is just to show that the process has been completely completed successfully. Message about none. Message about start buttons. Okay. Default button. First button. Keep message box always on top. Uh, yeah. So I save this. So. I'm going to close this uh, PDF file as well. So now I'm going to run it. Hopefully it works.
So we will launch Excel. Yep, so you will focus on uh, the book one. Maximize, and then you will go to, uh, you will copy the second table, and uh, first table and second table, and then it says finish. Um, I hope this video has helped you. If you have any questions or need help, please comment below, and I will try my best to get another video up to help you. Um, if you like this video, please uh, give it a like and subscribe. And if you want to tip me or buy me a coffee, you can use the PayPal link. Uh, I hope this video helps you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.